morning, and welcome to this week's edition of The Kent Connection, where we bring you the latest news from around the Lincoln Woodstock community. My name is Colin Chow, and today is January 26, 2018. Poetry Out Loud was held last night. We'll be telling you more about the results later on in the program, so stand by for that news. Meanwhile, around the area, Loon Mountain will be hosting a beginner skiing and snowboarding program. The program includes lessons and the use of the private slopeside learning lounge. It also includes the rental of a free pair of head skis, boots, and bindings. Also included in the experience is morning coffee and lunch. The price for this experience is $399. There is a first class weekend starting January 27th and ending the 28th. For more information, log on to Loon's website at loonmtn.com. Now I want to welcome our first guest of the day, Grace Petrin, who is back with Grace's Glossary. Welcome back, Grace. Hello and welcome back to another installment of Grace's Glossary, and we're here talking about Poetry Out Loud again, a contest loved by all, where students can be themselves and present a poem of their choosing in front of, as best as they can. Kids in this contest are able to challenge themselves and be more comfortable speaking in front of others. Last time we talked about Poetry Out Loud, we did it when we had the in-class competitions, but now we know the winner of the entire school of Linwood. Let's start with less yesterday afternoon. We had the in-school calibration round where the second round winners from every English class had the opportunity to recite their poems in front of the entire student body in a panel of judges, varying from parents of former Linwood students, both high school and middle school teachers, and a high school history teacher. <laughs> there was a total of 10 participants in that round, almost half were freshmen. Like Rotary Speeches, we see that this incoming class of freshmen really like to challenge themselves and do something even if it scares them. The four freshmen included Max, Ryan, Jillian, and Charlie. There were a total of three sophomores being Kai, Warren, and Delaney, two juniors, one being myself and the other Emily, and one senior, Jared. We were happy enough to even see an eighth grader brave enough to start the school event off. I think I can speak for the whole student body and staff by saying that everyone did a really nice job with their poems, but only three were able to be a wild card. Those students include me, Kai, and Lauren. We were all able to participate in the Jeans Playhouse round that was held that same day at 5 p.m. At the Jeans Playhouse contest, there was a lot of students excited to participate and a lot of family and friends able to watch. The band did an amazing job playing music in between each student. We were able to see a lot of younger students perform poems too, including third and fifth graders. So what everyone wants to know is how it went. Two freshmen, four sophomores, two juniors, and two seniors recited their poems, but only one was the winner. The five that passed in the first round went into the second where they were at the next phase, where they had to recite another poem so the judges could judge both. In the end, Warren was our first place winner, and Kai our second. All the students who participated still did an amazing job, and I know everyone is proud. After the in-school calibration round, the first place winners were able to speak in front of the school, and they all basically agreed that Poetry Out Loud is a great experience that, that everyone should take advantage of. Students said it helps them be more comfortable in front of crowds. That's all for this installment of Grace's Glossary. Again, congratulations to Lauren and Kai and all the other students who participated. Now back to Colin with some more news. Thank you, Grace. The Lincoln Woodstock Solid Waste Facility has updated their hours of operation. You can now utilize their facilities on Thursdays, as they will be open from 8 a.m. to 4.38 p.m. We are going to return to news about Poetry Out Loud as we, as we bring Mr. Courier with his weekly segment, The Principal's Corner. Good morning, Mr. Courier. Thanks, Colin, and welcome everybody to The Principal's Corner. I'm Mr. Courier here at Linwood, and my guest for this week is Lauren Peck. She is our Poetry Out Loud winner for the 2018 uh, session. Lauren, once again, congratulations. Thank you. So you, you really had to go through, um, it's quite a process for you to get all the way to, to be the winner from last, you know, from last night. Talk to me a little bit about um, what was it like you had to give your speech yesterday during the calibration round um, in front of the whole school, yep. and then you had to do it again last night at Gene's Playhouse. Can you talk to me a little bit about what that was like? Um, well, the whole day yesterday leading up to the calibration round was terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking about it all day. And um, when we were sitting in the gym waiting to go on, I was just right. trying to calm myself down. But once I got up there, I wasn't really very nervous once I got up there. And I just did it. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Do, you, do you feel like that doing it in front of, because you know, I was really fortunate to be able to watch the calibration round. And when I'm watching, you know, you present and the other contestants, you know, present in front of the school, was it more nerve-wracking? Was it harder kind of doing it in that venue? Or was it more difficult kind of at Jeans, where it's a different venue, but now you're closer to winning the whole thing? What, what was, talk to me a little bit about that difference. 
I think it was actually more nerve-wracking doing it in front of the school yeah. because those are your classmates and that's the entire like middle of high school and that's just really scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was nervous like putting that much emotion into something and like it's really exposing a part of yourself by putting that much emotion into something and I was like, kind of nervous to do that in front of the school. Um, but jeans, like I feel really confident on that stage because I've been on it so many times I feel plays and it just, once I got up there I felt fine. That's really cool. That's really cool. So I got asked, what did you? What was your poem that you recited? Um, I recited "I Am Learning to Abandon the World" by Linda Poston and "Half" by Thomas Hardy. And follow up to that, what were some of the? Do you mind sharing what were some of the reasons? Like what? What drew you to those pieces that you want to, to use? Um, well, both of them are kind of about life being difficult. Yeah. And. I mean, life can be difficult. Yes, it can. <laughs> I know both of the poems at the end of them, they kind of talk about defeating that and yeah. like you have reasons to live and the world can be a beautiful place. So, so it sounds like your poems that you selected had a theme. Yeah. They had a theme kind of throughout throughout there. Now, so you're a sophomore. Yes. Okay. So this is your this is your second year competing in the in poetry at Atlanta? Yes. Okay. So are you Feeling good? Do you think you're going to come back and be able to defend it next year? I'll try. You'll try. <laughs> okay. You uh, it also kind of a, a neat print for the folks who are viewing is that Mrs. Krill also let me know that you are the first person to win through the wild card. So you know, even though that you, you know, did not finish first in the class in the initial round, that you through the wild card round, your first person actually kind of completed through that that, uh, that pathway. Um, do you think that? Do you think you, you, as you were reciting, it got better as time went along? Um, yeah, that or that week following up to it, when we had to like practice it in our English class, I was kind of when I said it, I was just like frozen, and I I had the emotion there, but I was just frozen because I was so nervous doing it in a smaller group of people, yeah. oddly. But um, yeah, and then the day of calibration, like I said it in front of my English class, and it like it just kind of it worked. Mm -hmm. And then I felt really good during calibration and on stage just saying it in front of a smaller group of people is more nerve-wracking for me. Right. So right. it was kind of easier and I had a lot more confidence saying it in front of the bigger groups. One other thing that I think is, is really good, I want to say congratulations to you also, is that if, I, if I'm not mistaken, you also won the Rotary Speech Contest earlier this year. And I don't, I'm not sure if that's ever been done where we have a student sweep both the Rotary and and the um, Poetry Out Loud contest. Like, that one I have to check with this which Krill on, but I'd be kind of interested to see what that is. That's a nice sweep for you. So again, I want to say congratulations. You know, that's yeah. awesome, and thank you so much for joining me this morning. Yeah. All right, Colin, back to you. Thank you, Mr. Kerry. We will be posting the video from last night's event, hopefully later today. Make sure to visit us on YouTube to watch that video. The Kent Connection needs your help. As the semester has come to an end, we will begin training new classmates on the art of live television broadcasting. We love bringing you the latest news and events from around our community, but we want you to take part of that fun too. We are looking for community members who want to inform and entertain our community by creating your own television program. If you have an interest in being on television, please reach out to us at, by email at channel3studio at lynn-wood.org for more information. With that, we will be taking a brief hiatus from weekly broadcasts, but we will announce a return date shortly. We thank you all for joining us, and we will see you again soon. The weather is supposed to be great out there this weekend, so please go out and enjoy it. With that, I am Colin Chow, and thank you for joining us.